33 lions were a little distressed, maybe as a result of the long flight from South America. But that's nothing compared with the life they've known until they were rescued. They'd been circus animals held in cages and freed only because governments in South America are cracking down on the circus business. These lions never walked on grass. They never felt the sun on their back. They uh, never sniffed a bush. They never sat under a tree. They never climbed anything. Their poor physical state means the lions will never be able to hunt and will have to be looked after for the rest of their lives. Some have uh, eyes missing, they're blind. So many of them, their toes have been cut off. They can't grow claws. Uh, many of them, their teeth have been smashed because in the circuses they smash them in the face with iron bars. So they, these animals have suffered, but they have such strength and dignity. The rights group says this is the biggest lion airlift to date. They're part of a group of 100 animals rescued from circuses in South America. The lions have now been freed into large natural enclosures in the African bush. Here, their new home, they're joining some other rescued lions and two tigers. The first few days are likely to be difficult, and the lions will spend them in special enclosures until they get used to the surroundings and each other. They are showing a little bit of aggression, um, obviously a little bit scared, a little bit uh, a little bit of anxiety, um, which we all don't know how is going how it's going to react. Uh, any of the lions. Um, I mean, now they do know each other, but they don't know each other in South Africa. Um, so they are in a completely different habitat, a completely different continent, um, and they feel the need that they need to protect themselves. The sanctuary is hoping the animals will bond and quickly adapt. And when they do, they'll be freed into larger space to taste a little freedom. Yulisan Jamela, CCTV, Emoya Big Sanctuary, Limpopo, South Africa.